Hey guys, Ben White here. Welcome to Ministry Minds. And today we are going to be talking about how to make your own custom gospel tracks for your church. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go. We got some, some custom made gospel tracks that we have made for our church. Uh, we have a bunch of different designs we've made. I've probably made like 15 designs over the past uh, four years. And it's not as expensive as you might think to make your own custom gospel tracks. One of the reasons I really like making our own is that, first off, they're a lot more attractive than most of the gospel tracks that you can get out on the market. Um, second, uh, you can put whatever you want on it, you know, so you can really customize it to uh, your own personal needs. And then also, I really like the ability to be able to pass out one of these in saying something like this, like, hey, I'd really like to invite you to our church and uh, you know, here's the information. This is just an invite to our church. And then if the Lord opens the, the door of opportunity, go ahead and share the gospel after that. And if not, if it's just in passing, not only are they getting an invite to your church, a custom made invite that looks very nice, but also they are um, getting the gospel on the back as well. So it's kind of, you get it all in one bundle. One thing I really like about this size of track, this size is a three and a half by five and a half is that it fits really well in any type of pocket, uh, you know, your shirt pocket, um, your coat pocket of, uh, you know, it's coming along winter time, so you'll have um, a lot more people will be wearing jackets. And so this, I found that the three and a half by five and a half is a really great size. It's also very cheap to get these this size printed. Okay, so here's the design here that I made up. Um, I will include this in the description. Uh, you can just take this if you have Photoshop, just replace your uh, the website with your church website name. Uh, you can put uh, the logo, your logo or whatever you want to put down here with your different information. And I just tried to make it easy to understand, uh, put some text in there so you know what to do. Once you have the design finished and uh, the look that you're happy with, just go up to here, file, save as. And uh, you'll go ahead and do a, a PDF and uh, you'll want to save it as a PDF and then click right here, use proof setup working CMYK and then uh, you'll save it. And then uh, once you save it, uh, you'll head over here to Got Print. All right, this is the place to get your stuff printed, guys, right here, gotprint.com. I, I have not found anybody uh, that can compete with their prices. So come to here, uh, go to Products, go down to Postcards, uh, then go upload your design. Uh, we're doing this design specifically is a three and a half by five and a half. So you'll go right here. Um, you'll go to, uh, you'll want to select the type of coating and the thickness that you want. Full color, both sides, uh, quantity. Now, um, you know, I guess it depends on how many you want. I personally tend to go for like a thousand because by the time we pass out a thousand, I usually like a new to, to put together a new design by then. But you can do how, however many you want. So let's say you want to get 5,000 printed. I'll just say this, that is a lot of tracks, okay? 5,000 is a ton. Um, so uh, you'll put in your zip code, see how much the shipping is. $140 for 5,000 tracks. Um, that's the price. And then you'll go ahead and go to upload. And then th from here, this is where you'll upload your designs and go uh, continue to the checkout. So there you go. That's the process of uh, designing and ordering your prints from Got Print. Once again, let me say it, gotprint.com. It is the place to get the best prices on printing material for your church. Today, I made up two different designs for you. I'm going to place a link to those in the comments or in the description of this video. And you can go ahead and download those. They're Photoshop files, so just feel free to get on there, customize them, and do whatever you want with those files. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that you found it useful. If you think there's other people that could benefit from being in Ministry Minds, why don't you go ahead and add them to the group? You can add anybody you want. We just wanna share things we've learned over time, help each other out all for the honor and glory of God and all to advance his kingdom. So if you know somebody that could benefit, add them to this group. If you got ideas or things that you figured out or things that you think you know, go ahead and share them, all right? Just share them and um, 
let them be a benefit to other people in this group. So thank you so much again for watching and uh, we look forward to seeing you here again next time.